Okay, boys and girls, I'm going to show you now how to use different types of cardboard and different types of paper techniques so that we can make different types of sculpture pieces. So these worksheets will be at your table to help you to reference. I'm going to show you a couple of these right now. I'm going to first start with something called tabs. Tabs you can do with paper and tabs you can do with cardboard. It works the same way. So if I want to do tabs with a piece of paper, I'll find a scrap paper from my bin. And I'm just going to take my scissors and cut a couple little slits into the side of the paper. One, two, three, four, should be okay. Don't cut all the way, just on the end here, halfway. So now I'm going to take my paper and start folding. I'll fold one side up, one side back. One side up, one side back, and one side up. So what I've just done now is I've made some little pieces here that can be stuck down to my paper and glued down. So this is kind of looking like it is standing straight up, almost like it's a wall or a piece that I could move around like this. So tabs is just basically creating little feet that you can put some glue down on. And you can stick this down in some part of your room and stick the feet down in some sort of way. So that's how you do tabs with paper. You can do it with cardboard as well. I can take my piece of cardboard right here and I can just cut along the edge of the cardboard. One, two. I can fold these feet up. One, two. So now I have a piece of cardboard kind of sticking up in two feet. If I don't need that piece in the middle, I can just cut it out. So now I have a piece that's sticking straight up like this, almost like it was um, the start of, could be the start of a table, could be the start of a bed, um, could be the start of anything. As long as it's sticking straight up here, I can glue these pieces down into my room and build off of that, build more sides to it. So that's tabs. Second thing I wanna show you how to do is two types of paper sculpture techniques. And this is, um, curling your paper or looping your paper or and then making a spring out of your paper that's kind of going back and forth and folding so to make a loop out of your paper or a curl out of your paper um, you can just take your paper and you can take a pencil and you can put it on the end of your paper and just roll your paper a little bit on the pencil and the more you roll your paper down like this, the more it's gonna curl up. You can kind of unravel it a little bit, but now it's super curly. So that's how you can curl your paper. You can roll your paper or loop it by just taking the ends and gluing the ends together. So now you have kind of like a loop or you could roll them together and glue on the end. And now you have a piece like this. Now the interesting thing about this is after I glue this down, I can make some tabs by cutting a little pieces in, folding these up, and now I have little feet to glue down. So if I want something like this tube to be sticking straight up from my room, now I have some tabs, I can glue this right down into my room, something sticking straight up. Okay, last thing with your paper, you could make a kind of like a zigzag spring by folding in and out in and out and in and out. I think we practiced this a little bit last year as well. So as you unravel it, it's kind of springy. This might be good if you want to make stairs in your room somehow going way up to another floor. Okay, two cardboard techniques that I'm going to show you now. First thing is called um, the tab and the slot. Or no, not the tab and slot. We're going to do the slot first. So we'll start with the slot. You need two pieces of cardboard for the slot. So you can look in your recycle bin and cut out a square. And then you're gonna want the second square to be the same size. So you can put this down and trace it with your pencil or marker. And then cut that out to make sure that they're the same size. Okay, so the idea of slot is to put two pieces um, kind of like inserting into each other to make pieces stand up straight. So I'm gonna put um, two little cuts, kind of like this picture on the end, kind of about halfway. 
and then halfway. So after I've done that, now I have two pieces here. I can put these inside and kind of scoot them inside of each other there. And now I have a piece that's more sculptural instead of flat, sticking straight up like this. So I can figure out what do I want to use this type of thing for? What, what, what might this look like in my room? What could I use this for? Okay. I can also use some tape at my table. If you're going to do a sculpture technique with cardboard, tape is a good thing to use to hold some things together. So I can put a little piece of tape there and hold this together a little more securely. Okay, last thing I'm going to show you how to do with the cardboard is something called the L brace. This one right here. Again, you need two pieces of cardboard for this one. So I'll just cut out two squares again, one, two. Okay, the L brace is something where you want something to curve up, so you need tape for this one. So I'm gonna put my two pieces next to each other like this, and they're kind of touching on the edge here. And I'm just gonna put the tape right on top to connect them together. So now that I have them connected together, I can move them up like this and start to build pieces that um, are have sides to them. Like maybe this would be part of a chair. Or maybe this would be part of um, something that would curve up and then go down straight. Okay, so that's the L brace. Now there's so many more techniques in here that I haven't shown you yet. Um, and you can look at these and try and figure out how to do them yourself or you can ask me for some help. Some of them might take extra tools like a hole puncher or um, this one asked me for help to cut the piece in the middle here. So if you need help, ask me and we can brainstorm, try and figure out how to do these different pieces. So in your room, I want you to think about using these different sculpture techniques to help you build pieces that are not flat, but 3D, meaning I can touch these pieces, these sculpture pieces. If you want, you can also take your marker or your paper and you can glue things onto the walls and have these things just be drawn or flat and colorful, but you do need to have some sculpture pieces inside of your room.